Hello and welcome to DPN TV here at the DPN Rover Car Collection. We're now Rover 45 1.6 and I thought I'd do this little video on us changing the steering wheel. This is a new old stock from Rumor Brothers as part of their um, Rover parts sale. I thought it was a good opportunity to get a new steering wheel. Basically our 1.4 blue Rover 45 steering wheel is a bit worn. It's always been worn since we've had it. Um, so we thought we'd get it a new steering wheel but on it arriving, uh, seeing how well the um, sort of creamy grey outer um, leather covering system will um, suits our Rover 1.6 uh, a lot better as you can um, see the under part of the dashboard is also that sort of grey creamy look so we thought we'd put this um, new steering wheel in this car and move the steering wheel that's in this car which is um, purely the black finish over to the um, blue Rover 1.4 uh, as you can see you've got the um, airbag module in the middle which you need removing and you don't get that with uh, a new steering wheel you have to use the original one which um, you can see here it sits in between the um, two horn buttons and uh, marked up with airbag and the Rover badge on it um, Basically you've got the horn and the volume up and down and station up and down steering control wires uh, here that comes with the um, new steering wheel. Of course the airbag wire will come through there as well. Uh, that all connects to the um, movable ring and hopefully I'll be able to show you all of that once we remove it. Uh, the airbag module that's uh, held in with two torque screws. You can see on this steering wheel the holes are there and uh, hopefully if I am able to bring the camera around you can just about see the um, the screw in there's one each side a little torque screw we'll remove that and uh, then come back so the torx bolts i've just removed they're uh, just standing up there and that leaves us now ready to remove the uh, airbag module. Of course, you should always disconnect the battery and wait uh, around about 20-25 minutes um, before removing it. That makes sure there's no um, charge in the little ECU that could risk firing it when you unplug it or uh, move it about. Once that's done, it should be um, fairly safe. And uh, hopefully it should just wiggle out like that and uh, there is your airbag module and now you can see the uh, hole in the middle looks very similar to our new steering wheel of course you've got the um, the horn and the volume radio control plug there in blue and the airbag uh, module plug is uh, there in yellow uh, these have quite an unusual little clip where you have to um, pull a little bit down um, before you can remove it and uh, hopefully I'll show you that in just a second. And what you need to do is um, basically put a screwdriver in here um, and lever that little tab out and then pull up on this top piece once you've pulled that out that then unlocks it and allows you basically to remove it and all you need to do is gently just um, tease it out like this um, until it comes out um, if you're having to force it then you're probably doing something wrong and it will break it and then it'll never go back in so just do it slowly and gently and it will come out there we go just a little pull there once you've teased it and you can see those two little pins and they're pretty fragile and uh, easy to bend but as i say if you remove that top bit of yellow uh, plastic and then pull it it should come out and uh, away and now you can see the um, airbag plug and uh, also this plug which I've already removed that just goes in here pull it out you're now ready to um, undo the central steering um, bolt 
and uh, remove the steam wheel, which is then the same as any any other. So now the nut in the centre is loosened, and uh, what we've done is just got it um, sort of nearly off. But then, say you slip with the wheels, make sure you can then move the wheel up and down, which I can't do with one hand. But as you can see, it's um, loose. Then take it right off. And what I've noticed is this wheel has like a little line there. So what I've done is put a little dot on the um, central thread so that I can line the new wheel up roughly. Otherwise it will end up uh, straight ahead. It'll be slightly crooked. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll show you putting the new one on. Right, so now the wheel's off, you can actually see this ring here, and that carries the airbag wiring. And uh, it also carries the um, horn and the speaker wire, and this is a job you may have to change, and that ring can come out and be changed. Uh, we haven't got a change, all you've got to do is make sure that it is in the straight ahead position, like the um, wheel, and they line up, because that rotates round with the steering wheel to carry the wiring round. It's actually um, a spool of wire that unwinds, winds back up quite... Um, simple and amazing how long it does does last so as i say in this case we haven't got to change it but if you do you'd have to do the same procedure to change that if you've got a permanent airbag lighting on all your volume um up and down perhaps doesn't work and it's not the switch or a problem with a connection to the radio then it's that ring there with the yellow label that will will come out at this stage Right, so that's the new steering wheel back on. I've aligned the splines um, with that little central line and the dot I put on the um, central um, sp spline. Um, now it's time to um, do the nut back up. Um, of course, that has to be done up to a torque setting. It's worth looking at that in your um, manual. Uh, we've got the Haynes manual, but also the Rover disc that both cover that. Of course, you've got to put the um, blue plug into this little black um, socket there. And of course, the um, airbag module will need plugging back in. And then it'll be a case of um, tightening uh, the air module back up uh, also. So the air module's back, the um, little blue plug carrying the horn and the radio controls is in. I've pushed the airbag module plug in with of course this tab out so nothing's damaged and it's just a case of pushing that tab back in and now the airbag module plug is locked in and can't remove. Uh, it's just the case now of uh, turning this air module back in um, and uh, fitting it in um, like that and uh, of course doing the nuts up on the back. So now the original steering wheel is off and uh, on the seat and uh, the nice new um, light grey cream to match the bottom part of the dashboard is in our 1.6 Rover 45. Just remove all the um, new plastic and uh, yeah it really really does. Um, look nice and uh, look like it always should have been in this car. As always, if you'd like to watch more videos, uh, please subscribe. Don't forget our Instagram page at the DPN Car Collection. And I look forward to joining you again on another new video.